Welcome back. This is the fifth video in this series from Recording School Online on side chain tricks. Now, there's a whole lot of things you can do with side chaining. These are just some of them. Videos at our school, we have much more. Let me get into much more advanced stuff. Okay. Now, what we've done here is, of course, we've been working with the kick. Now we're going to work with the snare. And what we've done is, once again, if you missed the first video or forgot, we created an audio track in mono. I named that snare. And just to, so there's no c confusion, snare sidechain. On that channel now, once again, I'm going to add a synth. Now, just adding a synth won't create anything you can hear. So what I've also done is created a MIDI channel, Project Audio MIDI, and that's over here, MIDI 2. Then I routed that to our MIDI effects, MIDI in, in the Moog. And I played just whole notes, um, which are triggering this effect, which is being gated or controlled in terms of time through this gate, which is set up to activate the side chain. And then, in order to make all this work, you've got to go to your trigger track or the snare. Set it up as an effect send. And normally where you'd scroll down and see an effect, you see side chains and snare. Now, just for demonstration purposes, this series of videos focuses on kick drum and snare tricks. Okay, now what I'm doing here is I'm using white noise here. And in order to make this work, we need a fast attack time on both the loudness contour and the modulation, high noise in the cutoff filter. And pretty high settings in the range. Let's have a listen. Coming up. cool. Now, let's do something with it that's quite interesting. Simple, but just to give it a little bit more depth, and just like we created very tight, small rooms around the kick drum frequency, we want to do the opposite with this. And what we want to do is create some large spaces uh, and, and bring this way down. So we have essentially two snares happening. The initial snare which we hear, and this one, kind of in the background, just to add depth to the mix. So let's set that up, effects channels in stereo. And we can use anything. Let's just use this. And let's go with a plate. Turn it up. It's not going to be an insert, so. And we're putting that just on the noise we're creating from triggering the snare. Coming up.
It adds a lot of punch. you've appreciated these and enjoyed them check out all our videos at recording school online thank you